Hello and welcome to the next video of our channel Practical Hope. In this video, we are going to solve uh, ordinary differential equations first and second order using Euler's and uh, modified Euler's method. An ordinary differential equation is an equation involving only ordinary derivatives of uh, one or more function with respect to a single independent variable. There are no partial derivatives. Say this is the differential equation. The function f is continuous and differentiable between two points x1 y1 and x2 y2. So y prime x1 can be written like this. Step size we are considering h is equal to x2 minus x1. So this expression can be written like this. By rearranging the terms we can write like this which can be written like this y2 is equal to y1 plus hf. In general yi plus 1 is equal to yi plus hf. For high accuracy, h should be as small as possible. Let's take an example. Say this is the differential equation. Initial conditions at x equals to 0, y is equals to 0 0.5 and we have to find y at x equal to 1. This is the equation using which we need to solve this differential equation. At x equal to 0 0.1, y is equal to 0 0.65. Actually, this y has been calculated using this expression. That is y0 is 0 0.5, h is uh, step size, we are considering 0 0.1. And f is this function. And uh, we have put this values of x0, y0 in this and calculated f x0, y0. So we get the value of y1 at x1. Proceeding in a similar manner, we can calculate the value of y at x equal to 0 0.2. Similarly, we get the value of y as 2.19 at x equal to 1. Let's write the program now. First give a suitable title, solve ODE first order using Euler's method. Then clear and CLC. Define a function f equal to ODE1 x comma y. x and y are the two variables. The name of the function is ODE1. Now as a precaution, just remember that ODE is also an internal uh, standard function of Scilab. So in order to differentiate from that, we have uh, written OD in caps and also placed 1. This is the form of differential equation. So f is y minus 2x squared plus 1. Then initial conditions, x0 equal to 0, y0 equals to 0 0.5. Maximum value of x is 1, step size is 0 0.1. Then we are considering the range of x. So x will start from x0 and the maximum value of x is xm and the step size is h. n is length of x. So n will be the number of terms of x. Initial value of y is y0 so y1 equal to y0. We'll calculate y2, y3, y4 using Euler's method. Display xy, display x0, y0 that is initial values of x and y. Then we define a for loop that will run from 1 to n minus 1. This is the expression using which we are going to solve this uh, differential equation. So yi plus 1 is equal to yi plus h multiplied by this uh, value of the function at xi yi. Finally we will display xi plus 1 and yi plus 1. Minimize it. Execute it. First we need to save it. Say Euler 1, you can see these are the values of x and y. Next Euler's method for solving second order OD. Say the second order differential equation is like this and these are the initial conditions. Let dy by dx equal to z. So dy by dx is equal to z. Say this is function g. So we can write this uh, second order differential equation like this. dz by dx equal to fx comma y comma z. These are the initial conditions and hence it is equivalent to the case of uh, solving two simultaneous differential equations of first order. So basically what we have done here is uh, we have uh, reduced uh, second order differential equation to two simultaneous differential equations of first order. Let's take an example. Say this is a differential equation that we need to solve and we need to find the value of y and uh, dy by dx 
for the values of x between 1 and 3. These are the initial conditions. Let dy by dx equal to z. So dy by dx equal to z equal to function g. And dz by dx will be like this. This has been derived from this expression by putting dy by dx equal to z. Say this function is equal to fx y z. Initial conditions. And hence using Euler's method we can evaluate the value of y and z. Let's move on to the programming now. First give a suitable title, solve ODE, second order using Euler method, clear, CLC and CLF. CLF will clear or reset the graphic window to default values. We define a function. The name of the function is ODE2. The variables are x, y and z. G function is equal to z and f function is given by this expression. We define x0 equal to 1, then maximum value of x equal to 3, step size h equal to 0.1. We defined initial values of y0 and z0. Then we define the range of x from x0 to xm with step size of h. We set uh, y1 equal to y0, that is initial value of y, and similarly z1 equal to z0, initial value of z. n is the length of x vector. Then display initial values x0, y0, z0. Define a for loop that will run from 1 to n minus 1. Call the function od2. Once we are having the values of g and f, then we can calculate yi plus 1 equal to yi plus h multiplied by g and zi plus 1 equal to zi plus h multiplied by f. And finally, we display the values of x, y and z. We can also plot the values of y and z with respect to x. So plot x prime comma y comma x prime comma z line with 5. We define x label x with font size 6. We also define the legend y and dy by dx with position 3. Minimize it. Execute it, save it, say Euler 2, so this is the graph, blue represents y and uh, green represents dy by dx. You can also increase the size of the legend. These are the values of y and z at different values of x. Then solve the two simultaneous differential equations using Euler's method. Say these are the two differential equations and these are the initial conditions. We can calculate yi plus 1 and zi plus 1 using already discussed Euler's method. Now this method is similar to the one as we discussed earlier where we reduced a second order differential equation to two simultaneous differential equation. It's a similar case. So we are not doing it again. Let's move on to the modified Euler's method for solving OD first order. This method is also called predictor corrector method. In basic Euler's method we use the slope of the starting point of the solution curve to determine the next point of the solution curve. It works well. For the linear function, the alternate approach is to use the average slope at both ends of the interval. The differential equation is of this type. We can calculate yi plus 1 equal to yi plus h by 2 sum of fxi y and fxi plus 1 yi plus 1. The predicted value of yi plus 1 can be calculated using Euler's formula yi plus 1 p, p means predicted value equal to yi plus hf xiy and once we have the predicted value we can calculate the corrected value of yi plus 1 as shown in the expression. So this is the modified Euler's method. Let's implement it in programming. First give a suitable title. Clear and CLC. Then define a function. The name of the function is od1. This is the differential equation. So f is y minus 2x squared plus 1. 
Initial value of x is 0, maximum value of x is 1, step size h is 0 0.1, initial value of y is 5. Then we have defined the range of x from x0 to xm with step size h. Then we define the length of uh, x as n, y1 initial value y0, then we display the initial values of x and y, that is x0, y0. We define a for loop that will run from 1 to n minus 1. This is the predicted value of y, i plus 1 equal to y i plus h multiplied by ODE 1 xi y. Then we can calculate the corrected value of y i plus 1. So y i plus 1, that is the corrected value of y is given by this expression. Finally, we display the values of x and y. Minimize, execute, save it, say modified Euler 1. So these are the different values of y at different values of x. Finally, solve second order OD using modified Euler's method. Here we are considering a harmonic oscillator equation d to theta by dt2 equal to minus sine theta and we need to find theta in the range of t between 0 to 8 pi. These are the initial conditions. Initial value of theta is 0 0.1 and d theta by dt equal to 0. Let d theta by dt equal to z. So d theta by dt equal to z equal to function say g and dz by dt equal to minus sine theta say function f. These are the initial conditions. Then using modified Euler's method we can calculate the corrected values of theta i plus 1 and z i plus 1 using these two formulas. Let's implement it in programming now. First give a suitable title. CLC clear and CLF. Then we define a function. Name of the function is ODE2. Input variables are t, theta and z. g equal to z and f equal to minus sine theta. Initial value of t is 0. Maximum value is uh, 8 pi. Step size h equal to 0 0.1. Initial value of theta that is a theta naught equal to 0 0.1. Initial value of z is 0, then we define the range of t from t0 to tm with step size of h, then n equal to length of t, theta1 equal to theta0 and z1 equal to z0. Then display the initial values of t0, theta0 and z0. Then we define a for loop that will run from 1 to n minus 1, gf equal to od2, ti theta, i comma z i then uh, theta p that is uh, predicted value of uh, theta equal to theta i plus h multiply by g then this is the predicted value of z z i plus h f then we again uh, call this function od2 and uh, this time the input values will be t i plus 1 theta p and z p we can calculate theta i plus 1 that is corrected value of theta equal to theta i plus h y 2 g plus g g. Then we calculate the corrected value of z i plus 1 equal to z i plus h y 2 multiply by f plus f f. Finally, we display the values of t, theta and z. Then we can plot theta and z with respect to t, line width say 5, x label t, font size 6, Legend angular displacement, comma angular velocity, minimize it. So this is the final program executed. Say we rename it modified Euler 2. So you can see the variation of uh, angular displacement and angular velocity with time that is theta and uh, d theta by dt with respect to time. These are the values of theta and z for different values of t. I hope you like this video. Share it with your friends and uh, colleagues 
and don't forget to subscribe our channel if you haven't done it yet.